everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's so nice outside. It was super hot and muggy this morning and then I just went on the balcony and like the wind has picked up and it's it's a beautiful day. I put on some makeup. I'm looking rather tanned. I'm uh, My mood has just gone from like here to here. So I'm done work for the day. I'm going to film this video and then I'm going to go to HomeSense and Marshalls because yeah. And yeah, it's also my birthday today. So I figured like I'm going to treat myself and go get a Starbucks and then go to HomeSense. I wasn't planning on telling you all that in my intro, but now you all know. <laughs> uh, today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am showing you my kitchen. I really enjoy my kitchen. I spend a lot of time in here because I like cooking and all that stuff. Baking, I'm working on it, but I, I more enjoy cooking. And I'm also working with Mapful. They are a wonderful company and when they reached out to me, I, re I was so excited to be working with them. So what they do is they capture a moment and they take coordinates from a time. Uh, when examples are of your first kiss, of where you met your significant other, um, a childhood home, your favorite vacation spot, that sort of thing. You take the coordinates, it gives you a map, and uh, and you get to frame it. And I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it's a beautiful, thoughtful gift idea. And I, I love it. I'm so happy to be working with them. And so yeah, so thank you Matt Fuller for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, let's just get on into it and I'll show you my, uh, my map and how special it is to me. So yeah. Okay, so before we get started, I am just going to do a little disclaimer here. Things in my kitchen are easily accessible to me. They might not be in the same place or like a place that like someone would have their stuff. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's also not super organized, but again, it's organized to things that I like grab quick, like easy and stuff like that. Also just a bit of a background, I'm renting an apartment, so I didn't design any of this stuff. Um, I would love to change a few things, but obviously I'm renting, I can't. Um, but it has given me a lot of insight of things that I want in a kitchen, of like a future home or like all that stuff. I would love to build a house one day. Oh, oh, so many ideas, so much Pinterest. Anyway, um, and yeah, so I also haven't been to the grocery store. That was the other thing I wanted to mention. So usually things are a bit more filled um, than what I'm about to show you. I think my kitchen is like, well decorated like it's very minimal but like filled so that's why i wanted to do a kitchen tour with mapful so yeah so when you walk in this is what the kitchen looks like from the living room and then you walk into the corner there that is my door to the balcony and all that so that's what the kitchen looks like just as a nice little overview this here is where i keep my uh food this is my pantry here i just took two ikea nightside tables and stacked them on top of each other it is not stable i don't think it's safe whatsoever so please don't come at me but for now it works and i'm very careful with my placement of things on so obviously my heavier soups and stuff are on the bottom lighter things are on the top so at the top i have my chip bin which right now is holding a thing of costco all dressed chips because that is my favorite then i have some cereal options then in here i have all of my crackers these pc rosemary crackers which on goat cheese is delicious and uh, chili or sweet is it sweet chili or Thai sauce or something, but it's very good. This here is my junk drawer. I have a thing of chocolate in there, some leftover candy from my stocking, um, a little thing of cookies, and a Rice Krispies cereal box. So that's just my treats I like to snack on and all that stuff. Um, then down here I have my oatmeal, then I have this giant thing of peanut butter because I love peanut butter and have it like twice a day. <laughs> um, I have some soup back there and some shake and bake which I use on pork and chicken thighs or chicken legs. Then I have my cliff bars which I usually don't have. This was, a, it was on sale so I grabbed it which is really nice and I've had a lot of them. Then I got some tomato sauce and Alfredo and just an extra thing of mustard back here. This is where I keep all of my pasta. I just keep it in a bin from Ikea. So I have like Alfredo pasta, like fettuccine, some lasagna. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, chicken noodle soup. Oh, when did that expire? Oh, no, I'm good. Um, then some like macaroni noodles and some rice. Oh, and I have some craft dinner. Then down here I have some soup. Um, not a lot of soup, I'm not a huge soup person, but I'd like to keep it on stock just in case I want it with like grilled cheese or something like that for lunch. So that's what I have in there. Again, all these bins are from Ikea. And I have this like Costco thing of popcorn. I keep my potatoes in there, some pancake mix, and some rice. 
So that is my pantry. It's pretty easy. Uh, looking around when I was setting up and where I wanted things, I didn't really want them in the drawers. So this was a technically like a broom closet and uh, I thought it worked perfectly. So yeah. Then moving over here, I have my cookbooks. I have Jamie Oliver, this gin bartender's Bible, Goop and this lore book that Walter Caesar sent me in a PR package, which is kind of funny because I'm allergic to shellfish, so I don't, can't, well, I don't eat it obviously, but I also can't cook a lot of these things, but there are some nice fish recipes in here, so I do enjoy some fish, so I'm gonna look into that more. But I have that, my salt and pepper, um, an extra charger there, a Kleenex box because allergy season um, and then up here I have all of my spices and baking things I have some napkins up there for like when I have people over and stuff But yeah, all my baking stuff is in there and then all these spices I just keep the ones I use all the time so Montreal steak spice I throw on everything like vegetables chicken steak pork it's all on there. Um, paprika I add to make it a bit spicy and give it a good kick, but not too much of a kick because I'm not a huge spice person. Um, and then I have turmeric for when I make uh, turmeric lattes and stuff, which I usually do at night. So yeah. Then I have my microwave. Nothing is really up there because I'm too short and can't reach anything. Um, and then I have my stove. I got this little uh, like spoon holder or ladle holder at HomeSense along with these two dish towels I got at HomeSense as well. Um, then over here, this is where like my morning cupboard. I have all of my tea, I have my coffee, I have my vitamins. AOR sent me a huge line of their supplements and they're really good. This ortho sleep one is quite nice because um, I really don't sleep all that well so that is good to have on hand. Um, and then also at the end there I have some reactant for my allergy medication. Um, and then the nose spray and all that, which is really gross and we don't need to get into that. Uh, speaking of which, there's my neti pot. Um, also, okay, I'll, I'll go back to allergies for a few seconds. This Sage allergy, allergy Release is amazing. I put it actually under my nose and it really clears out my sinuses. And if I'm like really congested, I put it in the diffuser and it's amazing. So highly recommend this um, if you have pretty bad allergies and sinus and congestion and stuff like that. So this is my favorite corner in my whole apartment. This is actually the very first thing I set up when I moved in here. I have my paper towel rack, I have my charcuterie boards back there, a wooden one, and then like a ceramic uh, one. I guess that's what it's called there. I have a fake wine glass or wine bottle and inside holds everything that you need for a wine. So like your corkscrew, um, stoppers, a little decanter thing, that sort of stuff. So that's really handy um, and it just looks aesthetically pleasing. Then I have a fake plant from Ikea and the pot is from Indigo. And then I have my Jeopardy calendar which I use every morning while waiting for my kettle to boil for my tea or coffee. So I like to play Jeopardy, that is a fun fact about myself. So I just do that every morning. Um, and then I have this little plant mister that Brendan got me for my birthday last year. And uh, yeah, so that was, uh, is really nice. So I just use that to spritz my plants along while waiting for my uh, tea to boil. So you can tell I don't like to wait around, I'm not very patient, so I need to be doing something while waiting for something else. <laughs> so then up here, naturally, I have all of my cups. I have my Starbucks travel, collection mugs here, uh, some of the bigger ones, and then up here just smaller glasses or mugs that I like to use as well. My small glasses, my big glasses, and uh, my smoothie mugs is there. So my friend, she gave me this idea. She took the labels off of the pasta jars and she just uses them, uses them as cups or to hold like sugar and stuff. So I use it to drink my smoothies and I think it is so aesthetically pleasing. Under there is garbage. It just, you don't need to see my garbage. Um, this is my sink. Uh, because I've been washing my hands so often, I have moisturizer <laughs> right here because my hands get so dry. Uh, so that is there. Um, I have my knife block, toaster, this is my bread basket, so I have my loaf of bread, I have some nan bread, some English muffins, and some wraps, um, and then when I'm not, like I have hamburger buns as well, but I keep them in the fridge just because I don't use them that often and I don't want them to go bad. Uh, so yeah, above my knife, sorry, I kind of jump ship over here, I have all of my plates. So my plates I actually got from Ikea, I used those in universities, so when I moved out I just did that, and then I found 
four little ones and four big ones that matched at Valley Village, so I grabbed those. Um, then I have some of my pasta, or I have pasta and salad bowls up there because they're bigger, and I like to eat a lot of salad, so I have that. I have my ice cream clear bowls that I feel like every grandmother has in her thing. I saw them at Valley Village, I was like, I need those. <laughs> so I grabbed four of those bowls, and then I have my serving bowls for like potatoes or stuff like that if I'm mixing, or mixing bowls, I guess that's what they're called. And then I have my soup bowls up there so yeah and then these little things I had at Christmas time I just had little chocolates in them I don't like to put liquid stuff or like things to make it super dirty just because you don't like they're hard to wash I don't like to do that that often I got them from home sense and uh, it's just like a styrofoam paper or paper mache I'm not really sure how to describe it but it's very delicate so I like to keep wrapped things in there so and it also just makes the cupboard look pretty so that's in there. Hopping over here, I have all of my wine glasses. So I have my beer mugs, my scotch uh, glasses, my stemless wine glasses, shot glasses, my glass wine glasses, my glass gin glasses, and then my plastic wine glasses when, when I go out on the balcony. <laughs> or I've had too many and I feel like I'm gonna break some, so I switched to plastic. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't drink that all that much. Um, and then up here I have some Jameson, I have some scotch, I have lots of gin up in the corner and some white rum. So that's what I have there. And yeah, that's my little alcohol selection. Uh, that cupboard is non-existent, it's literally this, so yeah. I have my fruit bin. These bins are from HomeSense and I think they are so easy to throw stuff in and they look so nice. I just think with the black and white, it just matches. I guess this is a little bit more brass, but anyway. I have a little candle from Serendipity Candles. They are out of Collingwood. The Mountain Merlot smells amazing. All year, this thing is burning. <laughs> Up top here, I just have, I keep extra food when I go to Costco and stuff, so I like my extra Cheerios. I have some flour, baking stuff, um, some garbage bins, San Pellegrino, and some extra steak spice because I use a lot of that. So that's all in there. This is my fridge. I have my Polaroid photo of my sister and I. Then I have a photo of my brothers and I when we went to Cape Breton on vacation. These magnets I got in Chicago from the art gal or art museum there, and uh, they're Picasso, and I think they're really cute. Actually, wait, are they Picasso? Yes, they are. Um, this I got in London, England. It's just the Watson uh, coat of arms, and I just think it's really nice, like the Le Crest, so yeah. Then I got this calendar at the Calendar Club. I just think it's very pretty. I don't, I rarely fill it out, but it's just nice to look at. Like if I'm over here cooking and, or I'm on the phone or something, I need to know the date quickly or the month at a glance. I just come to here, which is really nice. I keep receipts. So tonight I'm having pizza with my brothers, my sister, and my dad, so I'm gonna save that and open it later with him. And then I have some lottery tickets that I've had since Christmas that I haven't done anything with. I think I had like one a dollar. <laughs> um, but anyway, in my freezer, it's pretty full, I guess. Uh, lots of ice cream, I am an ice cream person. Then in here is my fridge. Um, I have some cut up vegetables that are easy to snack on the go, so I always have peppers and cucumbers. Um, some applesauce, pickles, cream cheese, some fever tonic gin, which is, an, or fever tree tonic, tonic water, sorry. I always have it with my gin, so that is really good. Um, eggs, these are my drinks I like to have on hand. Uh, like I said earlier, I keep my hamburger buns in here because I don't have hamburgers all that often, but I don't want to just keep buying buns or throwing them out, so I keep them in here to preserve it a bit. Um, have some Gatorade back there and some extra butter. Um, have my almond milk, my regular milk, uh, regular distilled water, and then in this jug that I got from HomeSense, I keep lemon water. Uh, so I just chop up a full lemon, pour some water in there, leave it for a couple days, and I just, so I probably do that twice a week. Um, and then back there I have some, I have Cottage Spring, I have some Corona, and a nude gin uh, cooler. Um, and then here I got some of my fruit and some vegetables in there. So I don't know if that was interesting or not, but this is what is in my fridge. I have a lot of condiments looking at it now. It's quite a bit. <laughs> um, my containers um, and travel mugs and wine tumblers and stuff. Pots and pans are in there. Cutlery is all in here. So yeah, um, all that is kind of organized but not. <laughs> and then down there is like extra towels. I have an extra candle and some saran wrap and stuff. And then in here, is my blender. I have my 
protein powder and I have collagen powder. That's all back there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But now for the most exciting part of my kitchen, this beautiful area, my little counter. I am obsessed with this area. I think it is just beautiful. I just love staring at it. Like sometimes when I'm just waiting for my coffee, I just sit and admire at how beautiful this is. But yeah, so starting over here, these are my pasta containers. I just got these things at Think Kitchen. They were going out of their Christmas sale or something like that, so they're only like $4, so it's pretty sweet. Um, what I've been wanting to do is take my empty gin bottles and put candlesticks in it and have the candle wax melt all over it. However, I did not think the candle would be this long, so I'm gonna have to like trim it or just light it and see how it will drip. But that I think would look super nice, especially if they're all laid out of different colors, different styles and um, shapes. I think that would look really pretty. So I'm gonna see how that goes. And for the feature product, we have my Mapfuls print. Uh, I chose my cottage in Inganish, our family cottage, which is in Cape Breton. They have the coordinates I've just kind of covered them up, but it keeps the coordinates to the exact location you want it at. Um, for privacy reasons, I'm just gonna keep that covered, but it is underneath and I think it is a beautiful touch and makes it so personable. Um, so that's why I think it's a beautiful gift to give to someone and everything, so yeah. Our, my grandma calls it Happy Days. That is the name of the cottage, so I wrote that on there as well. And uh, yeah, I got two, so I'm going to gift this to her as well and keep one for myself and I think she'd really really appreciate that and uh, and it's such a it's a far distance <laughs> for us to go to it so I think this will be a beautiful gift for her just to have and look at at all times and everything so yeah so I think it's beautiful I got the frame from Ikea I'll link it down below and I'll also link Mapful obviously every everything you can get for them in the description box but I highly recommend checking them out if you or a loved one have something so sentimental to yourself or a place just to go out and purchase that because it's just it's very nice I didn't think it was something that I would want or need in my life and looking at it now and actually having it I appreciate it so much and I love it so yeah and it just ties the whole room together I think it's beautiful even just rested on my counter and not hung up I think it's pretty good um, and then moving on just to two more things, I have my wine rack. I actually picked this up at Valley Village and I just keep my little wines um, there. And then I have my, my Harold plant. Well, his name is Harold, but I am just, I am obsessed with him. I've had him since I started my blog. So three years ago, that is, I've had my baby Harold and he has lived. So it is very nice. And he's actually growing a little bit too, which is nice. So yeah. Um, and then I have a little holder for some pens and some darts for the dartboard. <laughs> and also a Costco little haul for the cottage. <laughs> so there you have it. That is what is in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed and took some storage tips or, I don't know, food tips of what I eat um, and how I store my food. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Go check out Mapful. It's just something that is just, I think it's a beautiful gift idea. I think it is just a wonderful business. It's personal to them. It makes them different, but it also is personable to each customer they have. So I think that's a lovely business idea. Um, I think it's great to have in your home uh, or to give to someone else. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go get my birthday drink and all that sort of stuff and enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you guys do as well. All of that full links will be in the description box so you can go check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you won't miss out on any future videos from myself. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!